Hey, Jersey Devil 1976 here. Well, as you can see, my uh, modeling workbench is gone. Not too long after I made that first video, uh, my wife informed me she wanted to uh, redesign this room to make it more functional. Uh, she wanted a place where we could both sit down and do uh, art and hobby projects, as well as have it set up for a home office. Uh, so with that in mind, I took all that stuff out and uh, came up with this uh, setup. Basically, i uh, got three cubicle units, got one for her side, got one for my side, and we got one up in the front here, uh, just for some additional storage. <clears throat> also set up this uh, three foot by five foot uh, table. It's just an old dining room table we had sitting in our, in our garage. Uh, we weren't really using it for anything, so I uh, took it, stripped the finish off of it, painted it black and then did a few coats of uh, lacquer on the top here just to make a nice durable work surface. Uh, I got my cutting mat from my old workstation. Uh, my wife liked that so much that I went out and got her one as well. Uh, it overlaps here just a little bit but that's okay I'm probably just gonna cut them down uh, just a little bit off the top of each one so they sit nice and flush. Uh, we also have our computer set up in here now. Uh, we got the uh, main part of the computer underneath the table uh, out of the way so it uh, keeps it looking nice and clean. We just have the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse up top. Uh, no matter what side you're sitting on, it's real easy to just uh, uh, grab the keyboard and the mouse and just turn the monitor to whatever side you need. Uh, back here, just got a little table set up. It's got just some office supplies in it. Uh, just keeps them out of the way. Uh, down over here, I got my trash can set up. Also got my codexes and rule book. I really wanted to try to put them in one of those cubes, but uh, they just the binders were just too big, so they wouldn't fit. So just put them down here on the floor. They're out of the way, uh, but they're easily accessible if I need to uh, look up something real quick. <clears throat> uh, up here, I got my uh, my tool bins. If you saw my first video, uh, this was set up on a piece of two foot by two foot plywood. Uh, but that piece of plywood was just way too big for this new table. Uh, it would have taken up too much room. So what I did is uh, I just took the cutting mat off. Uh, the cutting mat's on the table now, as you saw. And I just went ahead and just uh, cut off uh, the rest of the plywood. Just to, I just left just enough for the, uh, the tool bins to be on. Uh, this makes this thing really nice and lightweight. It's easy to maneuver. So if I wanted it down, I uh, go ahead and just take it, put it on top of my cutting mat, and have all my tools right there in front of me again. Uh, then when I'm done, I can just pack up my tools real quickly and uh, just put it back up here out of the way. Uh, over here I got my scratch building supplies, I got my scrap styrene, uh, I got some shapes in there. Uh, I have some sheets right here, some balsa wood. Over here I got my Vallejo paints and a few GW colors. I uh, picked this up at, at Walmart, it's just a tackle box, but the Vallejo paints fit in there perfectly. Uh, it was I think I could fit about a, almost a hundred paints in there, and uh, it's not too bad for just under five bucks. Over here, I got my bits boxes. Again, I just made some new labels for them so that I could see which one, uh, what's in them. These are the ones I most use, so uh, they're easy to find. Uh, these down here, I'm, I'm still kind of organizing. You get them cleaned out, they just have some random stuff in them right now. Over here, I've got uh, my Liquitex acrylic paints. I like using these for washes and for painting scenery and uh, terrain. Also have uh, some oil paints. I'm starting to mess with uh, doing oil washes. Over here I got all my paintbrushes. 
Uh, before, in my other video, you saw I just kind of had all this stuff into one cup. Uh, there wasn't really a whole lot of room to organize it like this, but uh, so this is a, this is really the way I like it. I have all my brushes in one cup, pens, pencils, markers here. Back, I got my paint stripping brushes, and uh, these brushes I use for the oil paints. I got some paper towels here. In the back, I just have this little notebook. It's got all my uh, paint schemes in it for my different armies. Uh, that way, if I stop working on an army for a while, I can always come back and remember uh, how I was painting them. A much better setup than I'd had before. Down here, uh, I have my I have my airbrush. Uh, I haven't really airbrushed in a, a few years. It's kind of something I got out of, and I'm uh, really wanting to get back into it again. I got my paint jars, uh, airbrush thinner, some testers dull coat, some masking tape. Just gonna put some other random uh, painting supplies in there as well. I'm gonna try to set up my uh, compressor in here, but it may be a little bit too loud for this room, as uh, the kids' rooms are right on the other side of the wall here. So uh, I may try to make it more quiet, or I may try to get a newer one that's more quiet than the one I have. Over here, I got this little little art caddy. This was uh, given to me by my four-year-old daughter. She really loves to do arts and crafts, and also. Uh, she gave me this. I'm going to fill it up with all kinds of stuff for her. You know, I've got some crayons and colored pencils and watercolors and stuff like that. So when she wants to work on something, I have some supplies for her available. We can sit down and do something. Over here, I got all my sprues. I'm going to organize these a little bit better. Uh, probably going to organize them uh, by army type and then put some dividers in here so that... Uh, they're a lot easier to find. I have to dig through them every time to try to find what I'm looking for. Uh, over here, working on a uh, scratch built Def Dread for my orcs. Probably do a video on him when I get done with it, hopefully in about a week or so. And the last thing I have. Got all my basing material up over here. Uh, I've got some sand and gravel, uh, some slate, some cork, uh, like some accessories like fuel cans and sandbags and all that uh, static grass. Down here, I just got a couple loose kits that I haven't really gotten into yet, but this is where I'm going to keep all my spray paint as well. Well, there's a new setup. Uh, it kind of sucks that right after I got my uh, my desk set up the way I wanted, I had to take it back down again. But to be honest, I really like this setup a lot better. Uh, the space is utilized better. Uh, I can actually store more things in, in a smaller area. And uh, it's, it's kind of nice having the uh, computer right there. So, you know, if I'm taking pictures of my models or doing these videos, it's the computer's right there and uh, it's easier access. So, that's it. And I pray to God that I will not have to be changing this again anytime soon because I'm tired of setting up my workstations and then I have to break them down again. So, but I think because uh, this is also going to be my wife's workspace, it'll definitely be a lot more uh, permanent. So, we'll see. Until next time. Uh, again, any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks, everyone.